Welcome back, one and all, to Trails of Cold Steel. Why did this happen? Lenato was always such a kind man. Because he was pissed. Everyone in the village was so nice to me. And I... I killed them. I, I killed them all. You had little choice. I had to. I know I had to. I know that. But still... I... What does that make me? A soldier. Please, don't beat yourself up, Ash. We did what had to be done. You had to kill he had to kill his own people too. I'm I'm sorry. I shouldn't be bothering you. I'm I'm going to check on the town. I hope my brother and sister are okay. That That was my first time killing civilians too. Those who I'm sworn to protect. They weren't necessarily civilians, they had foreign militia. That is the reality of war. People die. Are you and people insane? kill. Those weren't knights or soldiers, but fathers and sons. We... We shouldn't have killed them. We should have found another way. They made a militia. They were soldiers, citizen soldiers, but soldiers nonetheless. They were out to kill you. You had no choice. They were a threat to you and others. I... I'm sorry. It's not fair for me to blame you for the circumstance. I know that if we hadn't done what we did, even more civilian lives would have been lost. At least my mind understands that, but my heart... <sighs> Professor, those in power, no matter the era, always claim they fight for a just cause, that they take life to protect it. That's... that's a good point. But... Is it truly okay to take any life you please? All in service of some implacable just cause? No. It isn't. Senseless killing is just that. Senseless. Lord Lenato didn't take up arms out of a lust for power. He simply believed his cause to be just. Who's to say it wasn't? That being said, he still aimed to kill a lot of innocent people himself. Maybe we didn't have to cut him down like that. Maybe we could have reached a mutual understanding, found a path of peace. I honestly doubt that. He was out for blood. He was out to kill the Archbishop. I... I have to believe that. Perhaps the notion sounds laughable to you. Mere lip service to naive ideals. But I can't believe otherwise. Sorry to intrude, but this incident may be more serious than anticipated. What happened? I found this on Lord Lenato. It's a note that mentions a plan to assassinate Lady Rhea. Yeah, I, I put two and two together. We can't tell who sent it, so the source is suspect. But the content is too disturbing to ignore. We must report this to Lady Rhea right away. I hope that it's nothing. I am glad to see that you have returned safely. The Goddess is gracious with her divine protection. But it was not only her divine protection that shielded you, was it? You are just as skilled as I had hoped. Your monotone speech bothers me. My students deserve the praise. I am not so sure. I heard some of the students were hesitant about fighting militia. However, we must punish any sinner who may inflict harm upon believers, even if those sinners are civilians. 
I pray the students learned a valuable lesson about the fate that awaits all who are foolish enough to point their blades towards the heavens. They weren't. They pointed their blades towards you because they believe you to be a false prophet. Our real concern is what Catherine reported. The secret message that was in Lord Lenata's possession. It contained a deplorable plot to target the Archbishop on the day of the Goddess's Rite of Rebirth. The plan seems unrealistic at best, but a threat is a threat. We must maintain constant vigilance. To that end, I would like for you and your students to help with security on the day of the ritual. We won't let you down. But won't that endanger student, the students? Even if they encounter an enemy whom they cannot best, they should be fine, so long as they have you on their side. The rite of rebirth is of paramount importance. It is when the Church of Seros and its believers unite to pray for the return of the Goddess. Okay... The Archbishop and I will be confined to the Goddess Tower once the ritual begins. Okay, so you just want to protect a religious rite from a terrorist attack. Makes sense. Of course, sense. the Knights will be on high alert as well. But there aren't enough of them to keep watch on every corner of the monastery. It is far from ideal to be forced to mobilize students. But the gravity of this situation requires that we all bend to avoid breaking. While there is no need to fear for my safety, we cannot turn a blind eye to those who would blaspheme so heinously. With any luck, this will all be for naught. Still, be on your guard. Okay... Part 1. White Clouds. Blue Sea Moon. The Goddess's Rite of Rebirth. As the sun grows stronger and the nights grow ever shorter, the Blue Sea Star returns to the sky once more. Believed to be the Goddess's home, her followers look to the star and commence celebrations of her rebirth. On the grounds of Garag Mach Monastery, a grand ceremony is held in honor of this much-anticipated event. Every true follower of the Church of Seros is sure to be in attendance. Okay. Yeah, I know how seminars work. Three thousand gold from the Church of Saros for this month. Casper's birthday, Thanks. sure. So, our task for this moon is to patrol and guard the monastery, to help put a stop to that assassination plot. That is the correct. Will certainly have their hands full protecting Lady Rhea, and perhaps our enemy is counting on that. I agree. Please, elaborate. Why would Lord Lenato be carrying around a secret note with an assassination plot written on it? Because he hated the Archbishop for killing his son. Isn't it possible he hoped to monopolize everyone's attention with this alleged plot in order to distract from his true aim? Maybe they're after the treasure vault. <gasps> There's also lots of valuable stuff in the library and Professor Hanneman's quarters. True. The monastery undoubtedly houses many weapons that rival even the hero's relics. You're very chipper, Annette. Whatever their aim, we can't allow any harm to come to the ladies of the monastery. I mean, what would I do with my spare time? Oh my god, perhaps focus on your studies? You mean to say we should search the monastery, try to find what the enemy is truly after? Yes, and we should be prepared to fight them as well, should it come to that. I wouldn't mind getting in some training, just in case. A secret meeting, Professor? 
Who oh, are you? Introduced. I am Shamir. Shamir is one of the Knights of Seros. And this young man here is... I work for Lady Rhea, and I'm Shamir's apprentice. Oh, the name's Cyril. You work for Rhea? Yep, I help Lady Rhea with all kinds of stuff. I've got to protect Lady Rhea, so that's why I've got to learn all I can from Shamir. Cyril adores Rhea. That aside, if you need anything, ask. I can either... Oh, I can only explore at this point. Okay. Visit the Night Hall to unlock fast travel there. Okay. Awesome support conversations. With Dimitri and Dedur. Your Highness, the hour is late. May I ask where it is you're going? I'm off to the library for a bit of research before I train. After that, a bath and bed. Very well. I shall accompany you. Really? Uh, no. There's no need for that. I am a grown man, after all. You sustained an injury during yesterday's training. My presence may be of use to you. It was a mere bruise that will heal in no time. No need to fret over me to do. Are you dissatisfied with me, your highness? Please do not hesitate to correct me. And there it is again. We have this version of the game's Frederick here. Yes? What is it? Well, you often choose to address me as your highness. When we first met, you used to call me by my name. That was because I was unfamiliar with Fodlin's speech. Thinking back, such rude manners were inexcusable. To be honest, I much preferred it. I feel more comfortable being addressed by my name, rather than with the honorifics that go along with being a prince. But... I did not teach you to read and write so that you'd know how to address me properly. And I brought you to the Academy as my friend, not a vassal. You taught him how to read? Interesting. But your highness, a vassal is precisely what I am. So much has happened since we met, yet we cannot seem to bridge this gap. So be it. I give you leave to return to your quarters. Take an early night and reflect on what I've said. Please. I couldn't possibly. I said I would accompany you, did I not? Oh, True. Lord. But I would much prefer that we take steps to ease this mindset of yours. Interesting. They have a history. Dimitri with Sylvain. I'd better avoid the training grounds. I swear his highness never sleeps. Speak of the late, devil. Sylvain? Is it safe to assume you've been wildly carousing with women? I'm afraid that behavior simply will not do. Ah, your highness. Hello. No, I was not wildly carousing with women. There was only the one. Let's just forget you saw me. Agreed? Unfortunately, I can't do that. It's time someone talked some sense into you. And it seems the task has fallen to me. Sylvain, I'm not saying you can't enjoy yourself at night. But you must learn the art of moderation. Again and again, you end up wandering the streets until the early morning. Okay, I get it. I don't need one of your lectures. I've got them all memorized anyway. <laughs> I promise I'll be better in the future. I'll stop going out at night, I'll focus more on my studies, and in return, you'll go into town with me, and we'll invite some cute girls to dinner. Shall we shake on it? The way your mind works absolutely confounds me. How did you even arrive at such a notion? You need to get out more. Naive and uptight is no way to live your life. Naive and uptight? <laughs> yes, well, compared to you, I imagine I'm downright run of the mill. I'm not so sure. Most men are experienced enough to know not to give a dagger to the girl they... Will you never let that rest? It was many years ago. Perhaps a good knock on the head will help you to finally forget about it. I wonder about With your that. your strength, a knock on the head could knock the life right out of me. You'd better watch that temper, your highness. 
So how about this? I'll try to behave, and you'll try to loosen up. <sighs> if I do as you wish, will you truly promise to improve your behavior? what I just say? Of course I'll behave. A knight of Fargus never goes back on his word. What about you? I want to see you with a girl on your arm. I am a man of my word. I will attempt to do as you ask. But you had better uphold your end of the bargain as well. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, I'll believe it when he introduces me to the lucky girl. Oh, Dimitri, you always take even the silliest things so very seriously. This should be fun. <laughs> well, that's, that is certainly something. Ash and... Ingrid? Hi there, Ash. Here to do some reading as well, I take it? Uh, Ash? Head in the book. Huh, Ingrid. Oh, you gave me a start. How long have you been standing there? Not too long. Apologies for startling you. Must be a great book for you to be so deeply engrossed in it. What has you so captivated? Oh, uh, it's quite an old book. One of the really old legends of Fargus. Aha! It must be the Sword of Kaifon then, yes? Oh, so you know it. Oh, yes. I know it quite well. I read it often as a child. In fact, I read it so much that my personal copy fell apart. I brought it everywhere with me. I adore that book. The tale of the warrior Kaifon, whose devotion and loyalty enabled his best friend Luke to become king. He went to great lengths to see things through. Exactly. I love the image of him charging forward into the fray, ready to take on any obstacle in the name of his king. Indeed. He was the very picture of the perfect knight. In my opinion, the best chapter is right around the middle of the book. Ah, oh, the part about the war of the eagle and lion? That's my favorite part. In a flash, Kaifon's sword flew from its scabbard. The knight parried the assassin's blade mere inches from the spine of his king. Kaifon's blade hummed like the wind, slashing the enemy's throat. In mere moments, their forces lay vanquished, decimated by his mighty blows. <laughs> I can recite the entirety of it if you like. I never grow weary of that tale. The pinnacle of knighthood, with all its struggles and glory. I know just what you mean. I never get tired of it. Some people laugh at me for reading these old tales, but I'll never outgrow them. I'm glad to find someone who shares my enthusiasm. I'm glad of it as well. Tell me, what other books do you enjoy, Ash? This is a nice Well, the talk first one I ever two. read was Lug and the Maiden of Wind. Oh, you have fantastic taste. That story is another favorite. The final chapter makes me tear up every time. I know. When I first read it, I just couldn't get that ending out of my head. It seems we have much in common. I look forward to chatting again sometime. I'd love to. Yes, let's. Mercedes and Sylvain and Annette. Mercedes, you look divine as always. Are you off to pray? Oh, hello, Sylvain. I was just on my way to pray. How did you guess? Well, because I've been watching your lovely... Oh, I get it. You're the type who's always looking at girls, aren't you? I won't lie. I do enjoy beholding women. But I don't mean it like that with you. I know I sound like a dope. I just... I think you're special. Oh, really? You think I'm so clumsy that I need someone to watch over me. Is that why you can't take your eyes off me? You're beautiful, and I mean that. You're... How can I put it without sounding even worse? He likes you. Okay, here goes. I want to get to know you better. As friends, I mean. I don't know where to begin. Well, what's something you like? I notice she's very soft-spoken. I like to pray. I've been praying regularly since I was a child. You grew up in the Empire, didn't you? That's right. I was raised in House Bartels. Bartels? I thought you were born to House Martreats. It's a complicated story. I'm not sure that it's a very interesting one, but I'm happy to share it with you. I don't mean to be nosy, if it's too personal. 
Oh no, I don't mind. I wasn't trying to hide anything from you. House Martreats fell shortly before I was born. Oh. My father passed away while my mother was still pregnant with me, so she had nowhere to go. After I was born, my mother ended up marrying the head of House Bartels. Shortly after, my mother bore a true Bartels child who bore a crest. She and I were treated as though we were no longer useful to the family after that. Nobility, everybody. You think the Bartels were just using her to secure a crest? They must have been. My mother and I were removed from the family and forced to flee to a church in the kingdom. I abandoned the Bartels name and took up our old family name again. So you grew up in a church? Okay, it makes more sense now while you're praying all the time. Yes, I- oh, praying! I forgot that I was on my way to pray. Right, and I interrupted you. Well, see you around, Mercedes. Yes, yeah, see you! House Bartels wanted a crest, and ruined other people's lives to get one. These idiots are all the same. That's... That tugs at your heartstrings. That shopping trip took longer than expected, didn't it, Mercy? It truly did. You bought just about everything in the place. <laughs> You're so good at deciding the best thing to buy. I sort of wanted it all. I mean, not that I was excessive. I think you bought just about as much as I did. Oh, really? The number of bags you're carrying says otherwise. What? That's... Oh, fine. You got me. I was just having too much fun. I love shopping with you, Mercy. It was fun. It's nice going into town without having to run errands for once. Isn't it? And I'm pretty confident the professor will forgive our little detour. <laughs> this actually reminds me of going to school in Ferdiad. Me too. It almost feels like that time in our lives was a story from long ago. So much has changed since then. Oh, but there's at least one thing that hasn't changed. Me and you, right? We're the same old friends we always were. That's just what I was about to say. I've known you so long I can always guess. Mercy, we'll stay friends like this forever, won't we? Is something wrong? You sound worried. Since our time in the capital, so much has happened. We've had to make new lives for ourselves, and we've seen at least as many hard times as good. If things keep changing like this, I wonder if we'll be able to stay the same people we are now. I wonder that too. I don't think everything in the future will be perfect, but it's us. So I'm sure we'll figure it out together, right? How did you know what I was going to say? <laughs> oh, Mercy, I can always guess what you're gonna say. Oh, it's getting late. We better hurry back before the professor gets angry. You're right. Run, Mercy! What? Wait for me, Annie. You know I'm not as fast as you. Run! <laughs> Okay. Wrong button. There we go. Let's go do that main quest. Okay. Hi. I was thinking. Oh. Hey there. enemy's aim lies elsewhere. We had better discern their true intent quickly. As I see it, our best option is to explore every inch of the monastery. We should also speak to everyone here. Let's plan to compare notes once you've got a lead. Will you do me a favor? Uh, 
Oh boy. This is gonna be a lot of run around, I just know it. Oh, there's Casper. Professor? Oh, hey, Professor. I was just reading this letter from my father. Do you know him? He's a pretty big deal in the Empire. He only writes to ask how my training's going, or how many monsters I've killed, stuff like that. Yeah. Hey, I got a favor to ask. Hey, Professor. Here to cause some trouble? No? Well, whatever then. This room is. It is the church's treasure vault. I say treasure, but I do not mean silver and gold and jewels. It mostly contains weapons, artifacts, and the like. Anything that would cause too great a stir, should it be stolen? No. The church knows better than to store anything too valuable in such an accessible location. Okay. Petra. Fighting to stop a murdering is my specialness. Uh, no, my specialty. I will show my best work. Training has given me great busy, but you have given me intrigue. What's well, handle the ones down here first? Hey, Raphael. What? I was thinking. Well, what's the matter? You're running all over creation. Uh, even so, the knights have their orders. We can't abandon our duty to guard Lady Rhea. The goddess's rite of rebirth is an important event for the Church of Seros. They say it's the day when the goddess will return to walk among us. Not too likely, if you ask me. Uh, best if you keep that to yourself. I have a request. That's, uh... Something in the monastery that someone might go after? There's so much here, I couldn't possibly name just one. Even this here kitchen contains precious wares, wine bottles from centuries past and the like. I hear that stuff is fancy, but not very drinkable. I doubt anyone would go to the trouble of stealing it. but sometimes things get out of control. is nice, but I think I prefer eating with a friend. Looks good. I will eat well and restore my strength. Well. I'm looking 
looking for is just down over here it seems. Hey, Professor, I hope you're well. As for me, I had a date with a splendid specimen of a knight. But now he's suddenly not in the mood to see me again. I blame all these rumors of a deathly figure showing up. Would you be so kind sure. as to do me a favor? I simply must thank you, Professor. Terrible if the greenhouse was targeted. The plants in here are incredibly valuable. This place contains the heart of Garrett Mock's 995 year history. So many beautiful flowers, plants that can save or end lives. They are all my precious children. Okay, a lot of plants. I guess I'm starting to learn the monastery quite a, a bit. I've been in town procuring some supplies for Flame. No, but do not concern yourself for my safety. I am very much stronger than I appear. Right. I have something to ask of you. Hmm. It is the oldest trick in the book, but I cannot shake the thought that our enemies may attempt it. I will stand guard and watch over the stable and the knight's horses. They are truly magnificent. Okay, what do you Please, want? Please, do me a favor. Oh, Professor. Here to recruit me, I presume? Well, the eldest son of House Iyer will not... They wouldn't happen to be... Hey there. Busy. Oh. Cassettes. The monastery holds many treasures. Maybe the enemy is after one of those? Even so, the idea of stealing from a church is just horrible. I have a favor to ask of you. Here, 
here's an idea. On the day of the rite, the monastery will be open to the public, including the Holy Mausoleum. The Holy Mausoleum is where the tomb of the Divine Saros lies. There she slumbers, eternally. That's pretty much all that's in there. Just an ancient coffin. It's sealed with a powerful magic, to protect against would-be grave robbers. <laughs> Have you visited the Goddess Tower? It's a sacred place used for... In general, students aren't allowed entry. But as you'd expect, that rule just excites their curiosity. <laughs> Some have even tried sneaking in. Well, at least for this month, that kind of behavior is totally unthinkable. We have a lot more security, what with the Goddess's right of rebirth coming up. <laughs> Goddess's rite of rebirth is the most significant ritual for the Church of Seros. Could it be that someone has spread these rumors of an assassination plot merely with the intention to hinder the celebration? The Goddess's rite of... Could it be that some... It would see... It's a shame. The Goddess... Could it be that... How kind of you. I will have to repay you sometime. I can invite people to tea. Cool. Okay. Oh, and there's people up on the second floor to talk to as well. story. However, an assassination attempt on Lady Rhea is doomed to fail. Pardon? You think the goal may be different than simple assassination? Intriguing. Yes. I suppose the priceless objects in this room could perhaps draw thieves. However, there's no one but me who could make use of them. Okay, so they're worthless to anyone but you. books in this library that you cannot find anywhere else. But once you are here, you can read them easily enough. I doubt someone would go to the trouble of stealing one. 
Sometimes Seteth will dispose of books that are deemed inappropriate for the monastery, but that's about it. In a way, I suppose that makes those particular volumes more valuable, right? Let's see. Thanks for your help. So, there is something that the church values above all else. On the day of the rite, it will be open to the public. That will make gaining entry far easier than usual. You know the place of which I speak. The Mona Lisa. Yes, that, one. that is the most likely possibility. We do not know their objective, but there is a good chance that our enemy is planning to target the Holy Mausoleum. in this one here. I've been going for a good while. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Fire Emblem Three Houses as I do more school stuff. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.